So you don't know how to use keyframes, not a problem. When you open the layers information like this, you will see a stopwatch icon next to each variable. Let's just use position as an example here. When you click on this, it creates keyframes of the layer's current state at the point of the timeline. And when you move the timeline to a different area and adjust the position again, if the timer is still active, it will key that new position as well. So as long as the stopwatch is active, anything you do will essentially be saved as a keyframe. Now, if you click on the keyframe, like with everything else, you can delete them, copy them, move the timeline, and paste them somewhere else. You can even select multiple ones at the same time. And you can do this with everything, including rotation, scale, transparency, and almost any number you can see. Now, normally when you key things, it will default to a linear key. But if you hold Control and left click, it will toggle to a bezier type instead. Now, you might have noticed the movement between the keyframes is a little bit linear, and it's very abrupt. But an easy way to smoothen it out is to click the keys involved and press F9 to ease the curve between them. So if you play the animation now, you will see the movement from one keyframe to another is smooth. If you want to ease from just one direction, Control shift f9 or shift f9 to ease in and ease out. Now after you've set a keyframe, you can still move it by dragging it around, and if you hold shift while dragging keyframes, they will snap to the timeline. You can also snap the timeline to keyframes by holding shift while dragging it. If you hold Control and use the arrow keys, you can move the timeline by one frame in either direction. If you hold shift on on top of that, you will move the timeline 10 frames instead. And if you want to move keyframes, you can select them, hold Alt, and use the arrow keys to move them forwards or backwards. And as usual, if you hold Shift, it'll do this 10 frames at a time instead. And if you press J or K, you'll be able to jump around on the timeline to the next keyframe. If you ever want to hide everything that is not keyframed, just press U. Or you can press U twice to show all changed properties. And normally when you create multiple keyframes, for example like we did with position, it will move in a straight fashion from point A to point B and point C. But if you hold Control, Alt, and left click drag one of these points, you will create a bezier curve and be able to round out the movement path to something a little prettier. If you want to move things exactly, you can press Control R to bring up a ruler. Then you can drag them out like so to see straight edges for precision movement. And if you ever want to get rid of these guidelines, just press Control semicolon. If you have a lot of layers and you want to know exactly where the one you've selected is, if you've clicked it, press the X key and it will be highlighted in the layers. So those are the timeline commands that I have found to be the most useful. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.